Hello, hello, everybody, and a wonderful on passing day to you. I hope you are doing well. This is uh, my friend, Pat Parent, and I wanted to get with Pat today. And before I even start that, Pat, would you say hello to the audience and just kind of say hi to everybody? Hello, world. I am grateful, thankful, and blessed to be here with Jeffrey. Thank you, my brother. You are certainly welcome, and it's my pleasure. And just so the audience knows, uh, a, a little while back, he had sent me a text and said, Jeff, I was supposed to do this on the slide, but, you know, I'm just, uh, hey, that's not how I roll. So give me a picture because Pat wants to put it on a an award or something and send it over to you. So I did. And I thought, boy, you can take the fun out of anything. What's your key? And I, I kind of poked fun at him, but hey, he's a great guy. I love him to death. Um, yes. So then when I got that, gold thing with my picture i said wow this is really kind of cool i'd like to know more about that so i wanted to talk to you personally about this and you were gracious enough to agree to do it and it's taken us a, a little bit of time to get together on it but you know hallelujah here we are so before we even really get started pat do me a favor and tell the audience a little bit about who you are who, who is pat parent thank you jeffrey Hi, my name is Pat or Patricia Parent from Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Proud early bird founder. And you know, Jeffrey, I grew up in Ontario. And at the age of 13, they brought me to Saskatchewan. Who knew? I came from a place where we wore dresses all the time to, um, I call it a hick town, but it's actually <laughs> a, it's a, Beautiful place. But when we rolled into Arcola, Saskatchewan, they were making the movie, Who Has Seen the Wind? The horses were lined up. And I thought, oh, oh, we're in trouble. But anyways, it's long story short. We had a wonderful life there. And moving on, I won't go into all that because I'm trying to write a book about my life history. And it's going very well. I'm going to be 64 in September and I've got 64 pages done so it's a start but um, I am grateful blessed and thankful for my children my grandchildren and what the Lord has brought me over the past five and a half years and I gave my life in 2020 May 8th I'll never forget it to the Lord once again this time with a true understanding of what and who Jesus is. So I'll leave it there for now, and I'll share more later as we go on in different things. But thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah, absolutely, and amen. Yeah, um, I'm loving that. Uh, when I got that that award, well, first of all, is the it's not an award, okay, Jeffrey. Not, I have what, to what correct you on that. It's a badge. Um, to me, it's a badge of honor because On Passive started in 2018 and we are now 2024. And I did hear it on a uh, a webinar or a live about someone calling it On Passive Pioneers. Whoa, I had to run with it because we are On Passive Pioneers. There'll never be another On Passive Pioneer or founder since June 22nd, 2022. Wow. So yes, it is a badge of honor for the love that we have for On Passive. And I believe each and every founder should have that. I like that yeah. whole idea <laughs> and and I certainly concur. We, we're pioneers, you know, Mr. Mufar himself is a pioneer. In your own in, in your heart, what does it mean to be an unpassive pioneer? What does it mean to me? Mm. Well, Mr. Ash always says, um, do one good deed a day and stay connected and be positive and all the rest will take care of itself. So as a unpassive pioneer, I believe, each and every one of us do and try to be our best. Some are more outspoken. They do more lives or whatever. 
But if we do that one good deed, whether it's a, a like, a hug, a kiss, a whatever, you know, to share our love about on passive, checking out our websites, checking our back office. There's so many things that as a pioneer, we should be doing and keep doing forever as long as on passive continues. And it's not going to stop. It's here to stay. But to be a real on passive pioneer, you have to have it in the heart. Because you have to see what Mr. Ash has seen and showing us through his heart and his eyes. And the only way you can do it is really listen to change your mindset, to bring your love from inside and share it to everyone. The same way Mr. Ash Mahar does. Because maybe I'm going in the wrong direction with this, Jeffrey, but my love for on passive comes from the Lord first. And when we are a true pioneer or a true love for something, you give it all you can. But Mr. Ashmafara says, one good thing a day. One good thing. It'll take you a long ways, and it's a done deal. Wow. I don't know. That's just my heart. Yeah, I think that I think that's great. I think that's absolutely great, man, alive. Um, another question I had for you was, is there... Uh, any particular criteria to get or to earn this award or how, how do you decide where to send them? Well, at first, Jeffrey, I did it for uh, the people I knew. And I'm sorry I didn't get to you sooner. I just looking for that <laughs> direct picture. <laughs> I wanted the update with the beard and the mustache and the goatee. I wanted the update ones, right? And as I was going, there was so many that are wanting them, right? Because they have that passion. But I also had to do a lot of research and checking profiles to make sure they were real founders. Because, you know, social media shows a lot of fake accounts. Yeah. And that's not what I'm passing about. It's not about fake. It's about heart. And that's where... It was taking me a long time. At first, I was making them faster and faster, believing that everyone should have one. And, you know, at that time when I had sent yours, I think I probably did three or 400 by then. And I'm sorry for that, Jeffrey, because you are on one of my top of my lists and stuff. I greatly appreciate everything you do for our passive and for so many other founders. And the thing is, you know, when Mr. Ash shows his heart, each of us can do something. We all have our own visions. We have our own missions and passions. But Mr. Ash brings them out. And he gives us the tools. And when he gave me that, when I heard that golden nugget on a live about this badge, to describe the badge, it's, uh, you've seen the stars around it, right? I believe each and every one is a star, always, no matter what they go through. And as pioneers, we all build those stars. We all move. And you see that one bigger one in the middle? That's Mr. Ash. But we all keep forming towards him because he gave us this first opportunity. It's his heart, his passion, his vision his mission to change the world, to change my world, to leave a legacy. It's, I don't know, I, I could go on forever because I'm not sure where you want me to stop. No, you're fine. You, you've answered it. I'm just enjoying listening to you. Um, this is something that I consider, uh, this is an avenue through which you follow your passion. And I'm always about uh, telling people, follow your passion, understand what you're passion is and what jazzes you up and this jazzes you up so it's a perfect fit now you said you made quite a few of them um in, in closing probably in over now. a thousand now wow. and i'm still making them wow 
I mean, that, that's a lot. I mean, there's a lot more to do, I'm sure. Um, I had to clean my my uh, pictures out because I had too many for my old computer, so I can continue. <laughs> well, is there anything else um, that you want to tell the audience before we close this out? Anything you'd like them to know? Uh, how they can reach you or uh, are you soliciting them to say, hey, send me somebody that you might think would like or would deserve this or there's anything else that you'd want to say? I believe if there's any on Passive Pioneer out there from 2018 to 2024 that has the heart of Mr. Hashmapara and on Passive and sees the true vision and mission, then please do reach out to me. I would be grateful, thankful, and blessed to make one. And I don't take uh, money. I don't get paid for this. I want that put out there right now. It's not through Mr. Hashmapar. It's not through Unpassive. It was a vision that I seen that I could bless others. Yeah. And that's what Unpassive is about, is blessing others. And if little old me with a little bit of creativity can do this, anyone can do it and that's where i believe um we all have a purpose we all have a mission we all have passions amen amen well wonderful thank you so very very much i appreciate you very much taking the time first of all for sending me that and getting me on this whole this whole kick here I, i've enjoyed it and i want to thank you for taking the time to uh, connect with me, you know, um, to do this live here. And we'll uh, make sure that we can get this out on the channel for you. And I just thank, thank you, you so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you, everybody that's watching this. Please reach out to Pat or reach out to me about this if you have any questions and we'll make sure we uh, get you on the right path. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you.